Hi everyone, it's Willis from White Rabbit Comics, and we are starting with a new segment. Well, you can see it's a little bit better than my yellow chair background. A little bit of view of what you could see is we're offering in the background. But this segment is something I'm bringing back. I used it as part of an older store that I was associated to. And welcome to your Coffee Break Review. All right. <laughs> All right. So when I do these videos now, I like to keep them nice and short, simple, sweet, and long enough or short enough so that you can watch one, maybe two within your, your coffee break, which is why they are the coffee break review. And I'm a huge lover of coffee, so this fits right into my nature. So this is a little bit of a, I guess you could call it the chaos, which is the, the white rabbit behind me. Uh, yes, I do have my, my old school little video game there. But <clears throat> we're not talking about the background today, even though I hope you like the, the essence of the background a little bit better than the videos I have been doing, where it's just me relaxing in a chair. Today we're going to talk about a book from Source Point Press. I have been talking about Source Point Press a lot lately. Um, but it's it's a book that's actually almost done. Uh, March at the end of March will be issue five of five. It, the series has been phenomenal. I've really really loved this series, and the book that I am talking about is Black of Heart. Now I love the cover. It's nice and simple. This is cover for number one. Uh, super super simple. Uh, it's got the, uh, it just tells you, it's it's the chapter one, which is The Last Cab in Brooklyn. Uh, this is a series based off of, it's an old detective, it's all based in the 40s. Here is the cover for number two. Again, got that nice little taxi cab feel. Uh, when I go with issue number three, which is that old detective type feel. It makes you think it's supernatural. It's not supernatural because of the glowing red lights. Uh, eyes and this is the cover so when I started purchasing this for the store uh, I I didn't know anything about Black of Heart uh, I do like old uh, noir old detective comics uh, I didn't really know much about Black of Heart and you know I was wasn't sure if it was gonna sell well or how people were gonna react to the book so sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant especially on one a newer shop like myself we got to be careful about what where we spend our money and where we stock on. But then I saw the cover to number four. And I said to myself, I've got to carry <laughs> the number four. Number four is an amazing cover. I haven't shown it yet. I'm building suspense if you can't tell. Uh, I really loved the issue number four, but then I thought to myself, I can't just start at issue number four. I can't just carry issue four. I've got to go backwards. I've got to carry issues one to three. I read it. I just finished issue four. This is the cover to issue four. Now tell me that is not amazing. Like, oh my goodness, that is an awesome, awesome cover. Uh, probably one of my favorite covers that has come out. This was released uh, last week. Issue number four was out on Wednesday last week in February. So I would have to say that Black of Heart issue four is my cover of the month for February. This book, this cover, amazing like oh my goodness this has got to be one of my favorite covers that's come out so far this year uh that's saying a lot there's been a lot of great covers that have been out some of them you can see in the background but my goodness black of heart that cover that red cover with that uh you could see the pain on the person's face um i know it's got what looks to be like peacock feathers um uh multiple eyeball is going on like this sold me like when i saw this cover i said to myself i have to know what is going on in this book uh you could see so much pain in just the details in the hands like my goodness like this cover sold me on the series and the series is not disappointed now if you're a fan of comics especially independent comics um this book, especially the interior art, gave me a feel of 30 Days of Night. Uh, I know some of you may think that is just a cool vampire movie. Uh, it's also a comic book from, I think, 
Dark Horse published it uh, about 20 or so. Oh my goodness, 20 or so years ago. Um, ben Templesmith is the one that published it. Uh, the artwork, the right, oh, amazing, and it's it's got that same sort of really gritty feel to it, where it's not so detailed that you get lost in the artwork, but then it's not so um, loose that you're like, oh my god, this is like really graphic. This book, Blackheart, is not meant for kids. This is not a kid book. Do not buy this book for your kids. It is gruesome as all can be. Um, it's about a killer in New York City, if you couldn't tell from everything that's going on. Uh, I'm not going to give away a whole lot of secrets. I love 1940s mystery detective novels. This is right there uh, with it. Um, great. It's got that, that nice noir feel to it. The, the, the old... Um, uh, uh, Humphrey Bogart feel to it but at the same time it's still got that gritty New York cop feel to it um, so there's a lot going on the killer um, we don't really know his motive yet even through for first four issues you get some background where you could tell he had uh, issues with his dad and his mom but uh, you will learn within the first couple pages of issue number one that he brutalizes women uh, this is why I say this is not for kids. This is definitely not a kid's book. He brutalizes uh, women. He also takes one of their eyeballs. Um, and you don't know why he does that until a few issues later. And it will disturb you. It playing out it, <laughs> the image when you first see what he does with them. It will disturb you. Uh, I do have to uh, give a warning. Issue number four. I'm bringing it back. Issue number four here. Um, it doesn't have any warnings on it. It should have some warnings on it. Uh, if anybody has been impacted by um, anybody that has ended their life in their lives, if you if you've if you've come across that, um, I do want to warn you. Issue four does get really really dark. Um, and if you, unfortunately, I know, I know I'm bringing the feel of this down, but on a serious note, if you or any your loved ones have issues, there are hotlines out there. Uh, don't read number four if that's a trigger for you. It, it's, it's not going to go well for you. Um, it, it gets really, really serious. It gets really, really dark. And any us here at the White Rabbit, we, we want to say wholeheartedly, it, while you know it's great that you buy books from us uh, you watch our videos but if you or anybody in your family has been impacted by suicide one we we're sorry we, we understand what you go through but you know there are hotlines please go get help and don't read this issue number four if th this is a trigger for you um it's not comic books are fun, it's meant to be fun some of them are meant to be thoughtful and um they're supposed to be great reads this is a great read but seriously uh, in all honesty, don't. It's not worth it if if that does trigger you. Uh, so that, that's our warning right now. It's our warning. Uh, we we would love for you to read this book, but um, if if suicide and that type of information uh, or that kind con content is a trigger for you, please, um, it is not the book for you. But other than that, if uh, I, mean, I don't want to say if you're okay with it. I'm just saying that if, if it's not one of those things that are going to trigger you, if it, you don't have that same reaction, then uh, Black Heart is a really good book, but it's really, really dark. Uh, and the long, further you go in the series, the darker it gets. Now, we only have one issue left, and it comes out at the end of the month in a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Um, it's a great book. Uh, the, there's going to be a link below in the description to purchase the book if you're interested. Uh, we don't have too many copies of number one left, and it doesn't sound like too many people have copies of number one left, but uh, yeah, great read, but super dark, and I don't know where issue number five is going to take us. It leads us to a, a certain point, and we think we know where it's going, but this is Source Point Press, so there may be a complete twist at the end, so uh, go out and grab yourself a copy. Um, grab it below if you, in the description, you'll see a link below um, if this is something you want to purchase, but again... The, our honest warning out there is if um, certain content does trigger you, this is not the book for you. And we have a ton of other suggestions for you. You, you can see this is just <laughs> one area of the shop. So, um, All right. And with that, 
even though I brought us down. Um, I will see you at the comic book shop.